right, he's finally here. I've been looking forward to this one for a while because I love the character in the TV show and the comics and his design, and it's nice to see him get a masterpiece now. Prowl, uh, the first of the three Dotsons that we know of, are coming uh, Blue Street next month and then Smokescreen later on, all with little changes between them to uh, differentiate them. This is the, the American release I got it from TF Source, uh, which means I don't have the uh, special Amazon Japan exclusive missile launcher. Uh, I know Dr. Wu, I think, is making some. There's a couple third-party companies that are making shoulder missiles for him, but we'll get into that uh, a little later in the review. He comes in the standard masterpiece uh, packaging, about the same size as uh, the side swipes. I think maybe even the exact same size. I didn't put them up right up next to each other at home. But, yeah. And I love the masterpiece boxes. I love the, the Takara masterpiece boxes. This is small. It's neat. Uh, very very good uh, packaging design on these things. But we won't, we won't dwell on the packaging too much. Um, and inside, you just get a little plastic tray with Prowl and his weapon, and a little baggie with the instruction booklet and a little tech spec card. Put those off to the side. Here. Whatever. You stay over there. Um, and yeah, so there is Prowl in his uh, little plastic packaging. It does come taped down. I've removed the tape since I don't need it anymore and to make it easier to get in there. So there's Prowl. There's his gun. And that's all you get, which is more than enough, really, because this is a really just excellent figure. A little small, uh, especially when compared to some of the older masterpiece figures, but 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 uh, but not bad. Um, and it's it's a really nice deco. Like I haven't seen, had any paint application issues with mine. Uh, I know Sideswipe had a lot of issues, uh, and I got lucky on mine that he just had one minor blemish on his upper window on Sideswipe. So he is really nice, uh, very smooth. Like even even with some of the robot bits visible underside, uh, underneath it's it's very smooth. There's some nice design work here to make it not look quite so much like a folded up robot underneath it as well. So yeah, really cool. Uh, the doors can you can't open the doors, but the window does not go with them just due to the transformation. So just a heads up there. Uh, the gun itself, there's the gun with the handle. Uh, you can flip the handle up. Like that, which brings out this little hook piece, and there's a hole back here you can attach. Just like Sideswipe could plug his weapon into the top of his vehicle mode, you can do the same with Prowl. Why would you want to? Yeah, it's up to you. I mean, if you just want storage in vehicle mode, there you go. But that is possible. Now here is a quick size comparison of him next to a side, Masterpiece Sideswipe. Or Lambor, I guess, as he is commonly known. And they both, uh, here's a quick look at both of them with... Uh, Masterpiece Optimus Prime. This is the American version of Masterpiece Prime, but let me zoom out here. Well, actually, I don't really zoom out. I'm just picking up the camera and moving backwards. But there's how they scale with Masterpiece Optimus. Uh, now, if you open up the trailer on Optimus and take Roller out, you can't fit two. Uh, come on, Roller. You can't fit two of the vehicles in there, but uh, Prowl or uh, Lambor do fit. That's why I do fit. Aww comfortably within the confines of the trailer. And it gives, he does have those little you know, fold-out ramp as well. But Just to show you, he can ride in Prime's trailer if you so choose. We're just going to go ahead and slide roller back in there and close him up. And put him off to the side for later because we want to focus get him right here in frame. We want to focus here on Prowl. Now to transform Prowl uh, get into his roll has got mess rubber. Uh, actually, plastic tires. Okay. So to start off, uh, taking him to his uh, robot mode. We come up right here. Sorry, I'll try to speak up a little louder. And pull these this whole assembly down. You want to rotate it right he here. There's a pivot uh, right halfway. Also, then also obviously you split them like that. They peg together. Which ones they popped apart. We'll bring them out to the side here. And then these pieces right here with the rear view mirror, you actually fold down. His transformation is very G1-esque. You pop this up, uh, get that up out of the way, so he's got the, he's got that little panel sticking out here, um, with a few neat little touches. And you want to bring this down and fold them in like this, so they're touching like right here. Actually, first you want to pop his head up, bring this piece to open this piece up, flip his head up. Once his head's up, then you fold these pieces in to here. Yeah, come, 
So they're touching like that. And this piece you want to flip back up. Bring the door, open the doors up. Yeah, okay. We gotta open the doors up. And then once that's done, you want to bring this whole assembly down. And there's there's a tab here that's gonna snap into right here. There's a little slot. Yeah, yeah, you, you see it. There's a couple tabs here, and there's a slot right behind them. You want to tab this peg into that slot. Or you can go ahead and rotate the arms back up as well. And getting that to line up it can be a little tricky the first time, or the second, or the third, as is the case here. There you go, and that'll snap into place like that. Then bring the arms up, and bring them down, just like that. Bring his head up a little bit. Really nice head sculpt on this guy too. Pull this out. You want? Oh, you should have. Make sure that gets folded in. You see his missile launchers there. We'll deal with those a little bit. And then when you fold this back up, there's a couple tabs here on the hood. You can see that fit into some little grooves in the black plastic right up here. So when you bring it back up, make sure you bring it all the way up and snap it into those grooves, and that locks that back piece into place very well. So yeah, and then the, the, the doors angle up. And then you're pretty much done. You can kind of in a, the upper half of Prowl there. For the lower half, you take these pieces here and flip, that, flip out that center section, which is two separate pieces, but flip that out. That should let you split the legs apart. And doing the legs, flip the black part out too. You want to kind of, there's a hinge inside there, there we go. It's hard to see, there's a, there's a hinge here that swivels out and the hinge up here. So when you want to kind of pull this out straight out to the side. And there you can see the hinge. There's a there, there's the top part of the hinge and the bottom part of the hinge is down here. So you want to bring it down and around like this. Flip this panel up to fill in the slot there. Like that. And see, the, here's that double hinge I was talking about. It rotates around, up and around like that for car mode. You have to make sure that's folded down. And then down and around like that for robot mode. So bring that hinge around. Flip this up. Um, and then bring... Once that's clear, you can pull the uh, the leg out of the knee like that. Fold the uh, the window piece down here like that, just like that. Then fold this panel up into the foot like that, and then bring this heel piece all the way around. And there you've got his leg. It's got a little swivel there, and uh, you can put it rested on that peg for support. Uh, that, like I said, that piece kind of fills in that gap when you flip it forward. Um, and then the wheels, when you flip everything back, the wheels just don't don't touch the ground. So and then do the same over here. Again, pull this off. This whole assembly off to the side here. Like that. Well, I guess that, that pulled the uh, knee up. But, and then this whole assembly again, down and around. Take this panel and flip it forward. Up like that. And bring the whole thing down. Like that, flip the window down again, fold this up, and then open up the uh, the heel spur, and there are his legs, which are on backwards. So of course the easy fix here is just to turn him at the waist, and there you have Prowl in robot mode. And a very nice robot mode it is, get everything kind of lined up here. Very nice, very cool, uh, a really, really nice version of Prowl here. Uh, his pistol, like I said, you can flip the, uh, take this, and th th this likes to stop kind of right here where it's not quite, you can see the, the handle's angled forward, and the tip of this is sticking out of the back a little bit. Um, and all you have to do is just take it and just, just snap it back till it clicks, and then that keeps the gun from being wobbly uh, in robot mode. His hands hold his gun way better than side swipes do. There, there's a lot of little improvements on him from, you know, a lot of the complaints with Sideswipe seem to have been fixed with this guy. And here's a quick little turnaround of him. 
just a really nice clean figure and the head sculpt is great i really really am digging this guy and i mentioned earlier the uh, missile launchers and you can pop you see pop this up and you can flip these little pieces up like this onto his shoulders and then they extend uh, you may have to like the first time you want to kind of want to rotate it they will click all the way out so you just kind of pull them out if you need to twist them a little bit wiggle them they will come all the way out like that and then you can sit up over his shoulders these are kind of basic they look better on blue streak than prowl uh the the, the japanese version uh, we got from amazon japan i think come, came with like a silver looked more like a traditional g1 missile launcher that sat on the shoulders of these guys uh that can plug into this but like I said, this didn't come with them. There, there are some, some companies already working on some missile launchers that attach up here to give them those that old G1 toy launcher feel. So uh, you'll be able to find those probably soonish. Um, go ahead and push that. That panel's not all the way up. Eh, it's... Well, okay, maybe I was wrong. Okay, whatever. Um, so yeah, <laughs> there's, there's Pro. It wasn't all the way up. I think maybe moving it... Uh, may have done so. I also made, this is not an included accessory, this is uh, a little table I made out of cardboard because if you read the comics you're well aware that Prowl likes to flip tables just whenever anything goes wrong Prowl will flip a table. And he will flip a table for any reason. He's flipped one I think up to five times was the count in More Than Meets the Eye, because he's just been like, ah, my ex-boyfriend's leaving leaving on a ship, or, oh, I hate Insecticons, or, why would he even drill a hole in his head? Who cares about the Equitas Trials? Was that, four? <laughs> Who cares about Combiners anyway? Why does everybody blame me for everything? Gold bug. Whatever. That's Prowl. Um, I, prom I promised somebody I would have at least half a dozen table flips in the video, so there there you go. <laughs> so yeah, there's Prowl. Um, also, if you haven't read the comics, like a lot of those will make sense after you read the comics. Like I think every, just about everything, every one of those will make sense after you read the comics. So yeah, hidden Easter eggs for those who read the comics. Um, so yeah, there's Prowl. We'll do a quick size comparison here with him. Uh, here he is with Sideswipe, and they look great together. They just look, ah! Oh, um, I'm really, really happy with those two together. Like, those those may become my new carry-around-with-me-everywhere figures because they look great together. Um, See, so yeah, I'll move them forward a little bit here, and we'll put Prime in the mix. And like I said, I think they're a little short uh, when compared to Prime. Not super short. They were smaller than Prime, I believe, in the old G1 series. But just a little bit. I mean, like, like if they were just a wee bit taller in comparison to Prime, I'd be a little happier. But all in all, not a lot to complain about because they look really nice all together. Um, and actually, from that shot, it doesn't look too bad. But I, especially these two together. The new... I'm really, really happy with the new, uh, the new scale for Masterpiece. And like now I'm really looking forward to Wheeljack and Bumblebee and... And all the other ones like blue streak and smoke screen you don't have to worry about scale because they're the same mold uh with a few differences you know smoke screen has a different head and different shoulders and uh you know blue streak i think has a diff even has a different head so there's there's some minor variations in the mold between them but like they're not going to be out of scale with him since they're the same thing but yeah this so the lambo and that um i can't say enough good things about like i said if i had any complaints uh it would be like it would be nice if they were just a little bit bigger, maybe a little bit more die cast or something, and just just something to give them because they're not bad. Something to give them just a little bit more heft. Um, they do feel a little light, not not horribly so. Um, I'm I'm kind of nitpicking here because they really are nice. I do wish I do wish we had gotten um, better shoulder cannons. Like I would have liked an option, not an Amazon Japan exclusive. I would have liked to have had. If I wanted to use it, the shoulder missiles, the silver shoulder missiles like the G1 toy had. But I don't think Prowl, I think Prowl in the cartoon did not have any shoulder missiles at all. Hence uh, why they made them collapsible. So they could have, you know, Prowl could not have them to look show accurate. Blue Streak could have them in smokescreen. But, uh, but yeah, just a really nice, 
nice version of Prowl. There it is, MP17, Masterpiece Prowl.